Hey, hey, it's Big Bob. And yes, we're here, we're here, we're here. And it's a great day to be alive. And I'm sure glad to be with you uh, on Sunday, November the 20th, 2016. And today's words celebrate. Celebrate good times. Right on. Uh, yeah, good times, yeah. The pastor was just talking about dopamine and how uh, people will. <sighs> Boy, it's early. <laughs> Not that early, but I've been just tired. Uh, but he said that the dopamine is a thing that can turn us around. Uh, if we if we get dopamine at the wrong time or or in relationship to a, a certain drug or a certain uh, behavior and the behavior is not right the drug is not right it, it, everything's wrong but but somehow you get some kind of pleasure out of it you can get twist turned around and twisted around the man talked about how a rat was given a, a stimulus or a pleasurable uh, uh, feedback and the rat was like oh goody 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 I've got this got this great thing here that that's making me happy and the uh, uh, the experimenters they put something kind of gross and nasty and a bad smell and but the rat can still get the the pleasurable item well even with disgusting other elements added into the little the little rat the little animal uh, went back to the same method even with all the discouraging things because they had that 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 encouragement from the dopamine well Today, we can celebrate because <sighs> unlike the experimenters who are making things uglier and, and kind of grosser and nastier for the little mousy mouse, other than doing that, God is taking away more and more and more of the sin so that as we participate in holy, godly, awesome honorable activities in our life we get that same dopamine we get that we get the, the, the joy the joy bells go off but they go off for the good reason and I believe the Lord through the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit will communicate to us and talk to us I believe the Holy Spirit will show us if we start getting near something that is not right the Holy Spirit will convict us the Holy Spirit will tell us hey you know, if I am I am wanting to or, or interested or I look over there and I think, you know what? I'd sure like to have that, that bottle of beer. You know me, I never drank in my life. But let's say that I was a drinker. And I look at that bottle of beer over there. If I just keep going and then I know, I instantly think, well, you know what? No, Bob, you can't drink any beer. You, you're an alcoholic. You can't drink beer. If someone says, hey, we're going down to Vegas, we're going to go to the Spice Market Buffet, we have an extra $100 to throw away. <laughs> well, you know, for most people, going down to the Spice Market Buffet, walking along uh, Las Vegas, the main strip there, going to the Coca-Cola store, going to the m and store, having fun looking at all the sites, look at that water show, all those lights going up. It's all fun. But if you're a gambler, if you're addicted to gambling, you're gonna, God's going to tell you, hey, you know what? Maybe you shouldn't be going to Las Vegas. If you do go to Las Vegas, make sure that you confess your sins to the folks that are near you. So, hey, hey, Ma, Pa, hey, uh, you know, my, my fresh friend John. You know, John, I got a gambling problem. So, would you do me a favor? Would you just never let me out of your sight? Keep me with you at all times. Make sure that I, I'm with you. And then Josh or John or Ma or Pa, they'll go, oh, of course, son. Of course, buddy. We're with you. We love you. Well, we can celebrate in that. Celebrating in righteousness. And we don't have to live a life where we are living in fear or doubt or discouragement. No, we can live a life of victory and joy and celebration because of what Christ Jesus has done for us. If you get depressed, if you get down, if you get blue, if you feel like, oh my gosh, it's all going south for you, don't be discouraged, don't be down. You are down already, but don't get any farther down. <laughs> just, just cry out to God.
with the voice of triumph. They sang a song this morning at Angelus Temple. With the voice of triumph, clap your hands, you clap your hands, all you people, and shout to God with the voice of triumph. I love that song. It really gives a and, and, and then there's a certain part you go, we, we. It's like really fun. It's a fun song to sing. And uh, especially the way uh, old Joel presents it, it's a great, marvelous song. So we can celebrate. We can we can be rejoicing. Now there are people that, <laughs> boy, there are people that we can uh, <laughs> just uh, tell you the truth. Well, this is the sleepy channel. There's the old man. He's ready to go to sleep any minute. <laughs> uh, no, I just. Just nice to sit still. <laughs> Devotional times. I think that all my life, ever since I've done devotions, when you get a devotion, you sit real still, and you're sitting there, and you're like, you know, you tend to want, you know, it'd be a nice time just to just take a nap. It's kind of a common deal there. I, the guy Brad, who spoke this morning, Angelus Temple, he's in New York City. Uh, he was, he said something that was so funny to me. I just, I just laughed because. I have raised children. I've raised several children, and I'm a good father. And all my children are in my in my home, and uh, and I love my children. And uh, everybody everybody knows that I'm a good dad, I'm a loving dad. I remember this when my boy was small. Uh, Legos. When I was a little boy back in the '60s, uh, they they came up with these little plastic blocks that snapped together, and they were all rectangles. There was a few little tiny cubes, little squares, so you could really mix it up. And to even make it more complex, they had red rectangles and they had white rectangles. Red and white. No blue, just red and white. And that was all they had. When you got a box of Legos, and then they had this little tiny gray uh, mat you'd sit things on top of, and you could do that. And uh, you could build things. So the thing is, is that uh, the guy was walking through the living room, he said, and man, those kids, those Legos, you go out there barefoot in the living room and those Legos, I thought, yeah. And he said, and you want to get rid of all the Legos. You just want to take them all and just... <laughs> up in my attic, up at the Costa Del Green, someday I'm going to uncover all those Legos. I've got boxes of Legos that my son, he lost interest in. And... Uh, the, the Legos that my son lost interest in, uh, I put them in boxes. I put them in boxes so that they're there and they're ready to go for my son so that he he knows that, uh, you know, when he's ready for his son to have, my son will have a son, then my son will have the Legos. And we can kind of keep passing them down. Then my son can, can go through barefooted through the house and ah, the agony of stepping on those sharp corners, you know. It was funny because Brad mentioned that this morning. I thought, yes, I remember those days. I remember those Legos everywhere. I, I even still, believe it or not, uh, at the Costa Del Green, sometimes, uh, I'm not doing an archaeological experiment, but sometimes just the weather and the wind, uh, the plant life, you know, we've had a hard time with the drought. Uh, I have found Legos that are actually out in the garden, you know, like a little little chip or rooney, you know, out there. It's like, really, what? <laughs> kind of funny, you know. All right, we'll work a little bit off astray there, but I'm celebrating the fact that there's no more Legos at the house. Thank the Lord. My kids no longer want Legos. That's so smart. We can celebrate today because the rain. <laughs> it's raining. There's a little bit of rain coming down. And it's really awesome to have that rain. Because we need the water here in California. And it's a shame that, that I've seen some really, really old sycamores. I mean, you think, well, gee, it's all the media. If the media would just be quiet, then everything would be okay. Well, no, it's not just the media. There's tra there's plants and there's trees. There's whole hillsides. Like over here on this side, if you can see it there, you can see a lot of greenery. That's really awesome. There's places in L.A. where we're out here towards Glendora Way. Uh, there's places in L.A. where, where they just... They took it seriously. They, were, they went. They went gangster. There's no water whatsoever. No water. No, no, not a drop. And these trees are just like plump, 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 plump. They're just dying. There was a disease in Lake Arrowhead many years ago, maybe about 10 years ago or so, and uh, and all the trees in Lake Arrowhead were, were seemingly being affected by these by these beetles, and they were killing them like little you know, locusts. And it was a shame because up on John Muir Road, my uh, cousin. 
uh, my great uncle, he had a he had a beautiful cabin up there, uh, and I remember it was gray and it was a little pink and it was really really like mysterious because you went up there and it was just in the forest. It was surrounded by trees, tens and dozens of trees. Just you went into this like magical wonderland, and it would snow. Oh, heaven to Betsy. It was awesome. So now, if I go back up there, look at it now, there's no more trees. Very few trees. Most of the trees are just gone because of the drought. So we can celebrate this, this rain. We can celebrate the fact that, that we've got uh, rain coming down. Celebrate your, your all the good things. Make a list. Check it twice. Be sure to find out how great God is. Uh, write down all the things that, that God has done for you uh, this week, this day, this hour, this moment. Let's just take a moment right now. We'll just start to list them off, shall we? Thank the Lord that I don't have any pain in my body. I thank you, Father, that there's no, I don't have any, I don't have any injuries. My hands are pretty much in one piece. I got all my fingers. I have all my toes. Let me count. I got them. Uh, I've got hair on my head. Well, at least on this part of my head. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Lord, for a beautiful wife. Thank you for lovely children. Thank you, God, for the family celebration today that, that I'm going to right now. I'm driving out to, to the other end of the city to, uh, to meet with my cousin who's having a celebration that's gone on for well over 100 years. I think it must have been going for about 115 years in this country. And in the old country, they did the same thing. It's a celebration of what the Orthodox faith knows as a, as a saint day. And... Uh, so it's a Slava. That's the old Serbian term, a Slava. So we're going to have a Slava today. And uh, at the Slava, uh, the people gather together. Uh, there's a breaking of the cola bread. They have a, a loaf of bread, and they turn it, and they say prayers. And the priest, he, he puts a little, uh, a little uh, entrance point into the bread, and he pours the wine, and he says another prayer, and there's incense. And, and it's, a, it's kind of a holy moment. It's a, it's a matter of of praying and, and praying a blessing upon the family and thanking the Lord for, I think it's um, uh, St. Michael or St. Stephen. Uh, St. Michael, I think, is, the, is their, their patron saint. And um, so it's going to be a great, great event today. And I, and I am really blessed to be able to go. I'm honored to be invited. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's awesome. It's awesome to be able to, to, to participate uh, with my uh, cousin uh, on this day for this event. It, it's really, really awesome. So very, very grateful for uh, being invited. And it's going to be a nice celebration. At the end, all the men and women make speeches. And so there's talks. And so everybody stands up. And I want to be sure to thank uh, the, the wife and the, and the children. Thank you for the ancestors. Thank, and they think, then they, well, and for my family, let me just report and tell you how my family's doing. And then they check in. And, and uh, so... You know, I can be thankful that my son and my daughter are, are alive and they're healthy. I see news stories uh, every day about how men and women, even women and men who have, who have come back from the service, they've, they've made it through Iraq, they made it through ISIS, they made it through the terrorist bombings, they made it through the, the, the unbelievable awfulness of, of what is happening in our world. They live through all of that. They get back and... They just want to go get a bag of groceries at the store. All they want to do is just, just go to the store, just get a little loaf of wheat bread, and go back home, make a little sandwich, sit with Ma, and, and watch uh, 60 minutes. But they never make it back. They're shot down, killed in their, in their footsteps. sad, very sad. But even in a situation as dire and horrible as that, we can see it. Believers know, believers know that if our heart is right with Christ, if we have our hand in the hand of the man, if we are repentant, if we are forgiven, if we're covered by the blood, even in death, the devil cannot separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Yeah, they're up there on the top. 
waving to their celebrating people honking their horns <laughs> all right have a wonderful day god bless you need to reach me you can reach me 213713895 for love you